Hey everyone, it's Kelly the Frugal Fun Mom. Welcome to the channel and to today's video. We're heading to a Salvo store today. We normally do savers. I thought let's mix it up a little bit and check out what's in a different thrift store. So first of all is the beautiful window display. They always have the most gorgeous things in here so pretty someone really has a good eye for detail this week there was 50 percent off all orange tags not that we're really here actively shopping but it's always good to know what the offers are ask for them when you go in store first through the door i saw this crow's cap i thought of brad from two aussie thrifters he is a crow's man I sent him a picture and then I saw this poster on the wall. I think it looks so amazing with the lightning effects that are there. Checked out the book section because I'm always looking for books to add to my reading list, even though I don't really get around to reading actual books, <laughs> but I do like collecting lists. And yes, I'm drawn to covers. So I always look through and just have a little look what's here. Some authors I've never heard before. And yeah, so very intrigued by quite a few of them. So many puzzles in this area and some games as well and all of them these ones were all sealed so I thought that'd be really good if you're looking for a family games night and then the toy section was here and they had lots of little bits and pieces and knickknacks this was a like giant um, backgammon game and they had another one that was like a snakes and ladder and also more of those little collectible things, some ushies in there, the fidget spinner caught my eye, lots of little knickknacks as they say. So if you're looking for little kids toys and bits and pieces, definitely thrift shopping is the way to go. In this salvos, they have a little area where they just collect all the random bits and pieces. So lots of little party stuff, and wrapping paper and cards and just decorations, just about anything that you can think of. It's all kind of in this one area. I enjoyed having a look through this little collection of doilies and lace work, some very older pieces here and someone's very cleverly hand stitched. All the flowers, really beautiful. That would make a gorgeous gift for someone, especially if they were into collecting more antique pieces. Checking out the DVDs that were here in case I see any movies I think I might like to look up at the library and straight away this caught my eye, Big Bang Theory. We are big fans in this house. And right next to that, <gasps> The Man. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. Oh, what a good day. <laughs> Yeah, it's having, oh, Mad Men. Yes, I've just started watching this. I've done three seasons. So good. And this was still sealed as well. Unbelievable. Oh, I saw this hole puncher and thought, oh, if only I had found this three or four months earlier, it would have been good. I'm actually looking for one that has six hole punches in it. So, but four is still pretty good. They had so many of these containers here. Not that I have any need for them, but I thought it was so good to see. I'm always on the lookout for various containers of stuff that I can use. Great that the lid is see-through as well. And of course, into the plastics general area. I saw this Tupperware sifter. They normally go for like about $20 or so, I think. And yeah, there's a piping ball there from Tupperware as well. Some other lunchbox stuff as well as some general plastic stuff. Lots of bits and pieces. The Salvo store sell mattresses and they can also deliver for a small fee as well. And on to the sort of knickknack area. First of all, we have these glasses here. As per usual, they have some birthday celebrations and different event type glasses, very cleverly made. This is funny. A mother's sacrifice isn't giving birth. It's nine months without wine. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I know some mums that would enjoy that. I love this picture. I'm always tempted to get it when I see it, but again, I've left it for now. Oh, and some good Australian humour. If the string is wet, it's raining and you can read through everything that's there. There's another one that has a rock at the end in that says, if rock is missing, look out. <laughs> Or oh, a hurricane is here. It's quite funny. Oh, look at these little sets of forks and spoons. I thought they were so adorable. And then looking at this teacup set with the pink and the matching little plates there. And looking at all of the other little vases. I saw this shoe box. It's a money box. I thought, Sharon, that would be for you. <laughs> Oh, this sign was gorgeous. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Oh, if I was still in direct selling, uh, that would be on my wall for sure. Next was a surprising find, vacuum cleaner bits and pieces. I thought that if someone was looking for something like that, what a good find it would be. A fan, I've never seen one that sturdy before, so that was really good and crock pots or a slow cooker, depending on what you want to call it. We are on the lookout for one. Um, we'll need it for my daughter's jewelry business that she's looking at starting up. So we've just started looking around to see what's out there. And of course, a wedding dress as well. <laughs> this gorgeous display cabinet, it's actually two of them, and gorgeous table and chair set would look amazing in the right house absolutely these display cabinets are the ideal display cabinet that i would have loved to have way back when and here is a little purse with some bling it looks brand new because inside is still got the chain wrapped in the plastic as well so clearly someone's having a decluttering of their house and giving it a second life, passing it on. Just checking out some other purses and bits and pieces that we hear. I don't need anything, but I always like to look at other options that are out there. Had a look at the clothing section and I found these dress ups. There's like some Teletubbies, Tinky Winky. I think that was, I can't remember what the purple, I think the purple one's Poe, very cute. Oh, I was in love with this curtain. Sadly, there was only one. If there was two, I probably would have gotten it because I'm looking at redoing the bedroom. And they had a whole lot of furniture here with bedding and stuff, but this one caught my eye. Sadly, we can't have a bed with the end on it because hubby is quite long, so we need nothing on the end for him to hang over. Thanks so much for joining with me today. Let me know if you've been to an op shop recently and what bargains you found. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, bye!